What's up everybody? I'm Dreadful, Dreadful Desire, and today I'm just going to be talking to you about some adventures I had when I was in Phoenix. This was the first time that I actually went to Phoenix. I went with a friend, King Compassion. Make sure you check out his YouTube channel. He's awesome. So he's originally from Phoenix, Arizona, and he asked me how would I feel about going once he goes and deals with some family matters up there. So I was like, okay, why not? So I saved up a little bit and then I ended up going to Phoenix. It was so much that happened when I was there. The whole week I was there, it felt like I was there for months. As soon as I got off the plane, it was like a warm 70 vibe. Everybody made me feel like a celebrity from when I was there from until I left. It was a really amazing experience. I'm not the type to go out to bars and drink and do all that crazy stuff. But I was like, why not? I'm here for a week. Let's see what everything that Phoenix has to offer. The first day I was there, I went to Whataburger. I've never been to Whataburger before. I don't, I still don't get the hype. I mean, it was good, but the burger was way too much for me to eat by myself. Later on, we ended up going to Monument Valley on the way to going to Monument Valley. We went to Jerome. Jerome was beautiful. The scenery, the vibes everybody gave me. It was a real 60s vibe. I really feel like all the hippies in that era, that's where they settled at. They had a boarding house down to a little bookstore. They had a crystal shop. It was a really amazing, just amazing day. I wish it wasn't as windy, but I enjoyed myself. I ended up going to a couple of places. One of the places I ended up going to, which was one of my favorite and highlights out of Phoenix, was Cobra Bar. So the Cobra Bar was an arcade bar. Of course, if you're not old enough to get into a bar, you weren't able to go in. But I was able to go in because I'm 22. So I ended up going into the Cobra Bar and it was amazing. Down to the DJ being in the corner playing hot tunes. There was arcade games all around the border. So we, when we got there, everybody was just trying to meet up with each other. Everybody was just trying to get in the door. One of his friends came up and was like, hey, you guys want drinks? So I was like, okay. So I ended up getting two drinks, which was vodka with lemonade with a little bit of grenadine at the bottom. I drank two of those, and then me and King started playing Dance Dance Revolution. Don't know why I thought it was going to be a good idea to play Dance Dance Revolution while drunk. But I won. I was hot afterwards. We sat down. Everybody kind of grouped up because it was like seven or eight of us. And we ended up sharing a couple of drinks and talking for a little bit before everybody kind of split up and started doing their own thing. While I was there, I played some Rampage, I played some Street Fighter, I played <laughs> The Simpsons game, which was four players. What I loved about this bar was how it was one coin per play. Like, so if you had two people, all you needed was two quarters. And the quarters were freaking awesome. They had the Cobra Bar up there. And I had a fun time. Even I went against this guy on Tekken. It was a guy, he was Asian and I didn't think I was gonna win against him because he was a little bit drunk. And if you can play like totally drunk in video games, you're a beast. And I went against him anyhow. I won one round, he won one round, and then he ended up beating me. But it was an awesome experience. I loved every bit of it. We ended up going to a restaurant called, I think it was called the Cornish Hen. And the Scottish pies were amazing. It was so, so good. We ended up going to this place called the Valley Bar, which was literally in the valley. So we ended up getting in and we went downstairs and we were like in this basement. We went straight down to, you know, the bar aspect. They had some ski ball and they had pool tables and then they had chairs in the corners. I really felt like I time traveled back to like the late 60s, early 70s. It was a beautiful, beautiful vibe. So I got drunk and played pool. And then we ended up sitting down, drinking some more, and playing Scrabble. First of all, that was the first game that I played Scrabble with besides my family where we've actually filled up the board. So that was an awesome game of Scrabble. But they started playing Tori Moi. And I don't know if you guys know about Tori Moi, but Tori Moi is one of my favorite artists. And they played it for like seven songs straight. So I was drunk, I was dancing, it was amazing. I had people come up to me and saying, I'm glad you were here, even though I didn't know them. So I would definitely go back to Phoenix again. I loved 
every bit of it. If you haven't been able to travel to Phoenix, I definitely say go for it. It's amazing. I feel welcome there. And I'd love to go again. I can't wait to travel more. If you guys want to know a little bit more in detail about what I did or wonder where some of these places are at, I can give you links to their Instagrams. And I'll see you guys next time. That was nice having a little story time with you guys. I'm Dreadful Desire. You guys be safe, and I'll see you guys next time.